chemical reactions. By Mandy Semple, Shannon Smith, Ashley Keating, and Elise Hunt. Chemical changes by Shannon Smith. Chemical properties. The ability of a substance to undergo a specific chemical change. They can help to identify a substance. The composition of matter continues to change throughout a chemical change. A reactant is what causes this reaction, while the product is the outcome. The terms chemical change and chemical reaction are interchangeable. During a chemical reaction, a substance transforms into a new substance. This is one of the differences between a chemical change and a physical change. A chemical change involves a change in which a new substance is formed and it cannot be undone. A physical change, for example, is like putting paper in water. It does not change the state of the paper, and when it dries, the paper will once again become a dry solid. Fireworks! Fire! Pancakes! This is Elise Harmon, and I'm going to talk about how to recognize a chemical change. There are four ways to do this. A transfer of energy, a change in color, the production of gas, and the formation of a precipitate. Transfer of energy and change in color. Every chemical change involves a transfer of energy. When methane and natural gas chemically combines with oxygen and air, energy is given off in heat and light. Some energy is transferred to and absorbed by food that cooks over a gas burner. The energy then causes chemical change in the food. Also, the color of the food changes, signaling another chemical change. The precipitate and gas production. A precipitate is a solid that forms and settles out of a liquid mixture. For example, the ring of soap scum in a bathtub. A bubble produces when gas is released and chemical changes that takes place in a cleaner. The only way to be sure a chemical change has taken place is to test the composition of a sample before and after the change. Conservation of mass by Ashley Keating. During any chemical reaction, the mass of the products is always equal to the mass of the reactants. The amount of matter is unchanged in chemical reactions. For example, when wood burns, careful measurements show that the total mass of the reactants, wood and oxygen consumed, equals the mass of the products, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and ash. Mass also holds constant during physical changes. For example, when 10 grams of ice melt, it produces 10 grams of liquid. The scientific law that reflects these observations is the law of conservation of mass. It states that in any physical change or chemical reaction, mass is conserved. Mass is neither created nor destroyed. Elements are never created or destroyed in a reaction, just rearranged into different substances. In chemical changes, no matter how big the bang, mass is neither gained nor lost. So what did you learn today? I learned that chemical properties are the ability to undergo a change and can help identify a substance. You can recognize a chemical change by a transfer in energy, a change in color, the production of gas, or the formation of a precipitate. I also learned that the conservation of mass is an important scientific law that states in, chemical, in a chemical reaction, mass is neither created nor destroyed. Chemical reactions are the best! See of the All-Star Squad.